Hi, I'm Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to help you get rid of the H key Trojan malware from your PC. Now, malware is malicious software that does something on your PC that's damaging to you, either by stealing data or damaging your hard drive or causing you to pay for something that you don't need to, to buy or just doing something that causes instability. And that's what this Trojan does, the H key Trojan. It causes instability in your system and it wreaks havoc. So you, you really want to get rid of it. It's also, since it's a Trojan, it's going to load other pieces of malware on your PC, which is going to cause you problems. So you want to get it cleaned up. Now, chances are, if you've discovered that you have malware running on your PC, you've got other malware hidden that you haven't discovered yet. So you really want to clean this up and you want to take a very effective approach to it. Um, since you probably have malware running under the hood, you don't know about it, and you don't know what it is, you, you know, it's hard to determine how to get rid of it. I like to use what's called a shotgun approach where I use multiple tools to go after it. Now, there are four pieces of anti-malware software that I like to use and they're freely available. One of them is Super Anti-Spyware. Another one is Malware Bytes. Another one is SpyBot Search and Destroy. And another one is Spyware Hunter, or Spy Hunter, excuse me. And they're all freely available on the internet. You can uh, search for them in Google, find them, download them. Um, it, it won't cost you anything. There, there are paid versions that you could download and they have some cool features you might like, but you don't need those to disinfect your PC. You just need the free versions. So what you're going to want to do is for each one of them, you want to download it and install it. And it's going to want to start up and, and update its antivirus definitions. When it does that, it's going to go out and pull the latest and greatest definitions and database information from their servers so it can find the latest, you know, the malware that's on your PC and disinfect it. So let it do that. But they're also going to want to continue past that and disinfect your PC. Don't let it do that yet. You want to do is install them all, update them, get them all updated. Then you want to do, you want to reboot into what's called safe mode. To, to reboot in safe mode, you reboot your PC and then you tap your F8 key repeatedly as it's coming up. And that will present you with a screen like this that gives you various uh, boot options. You'll want to choose safe mode. You don't want to go safe mode with networking or with command prompt. You want just safe mode so that just the minimal software is running on your system, no network connectivity so this malware can't phone home and get help. And then your anti-malware software has the best chance of disinfecting your system. So once you're up and going in safe mode, then you're going to want to one after the other run each one of the pieces of anti-malware software that you installed. So you want to bring it up and run it, and you want to do what's called a full scan. You don't want to do a quick scan. You want to do a full scan. That will go and look at everything in the system, memory, hard drive, everything. And they're going to run until they get done and they, you know, they'll give you a list of what they found. <clears throat> it might take some time too, so you might want to go off and do something while it's doing this. But when it gets done, it's going to present you with a list of what it's found and some recommended actions. Just take the recommendations and let it get rid of the malware for you. When it gets done with that, it's going to want to reboot. Don't let it though. Just exit the tool, start the next one, and do the same thing. Run it until it gets to where it wants to reboot and stop until you get to the last tool. When it runs, go ahead and reboot. Then your system should come up and be nice and clean. And you won't have malware on it. And at that point too, you're going to want to uninstall some of those pieces of anti-malware software you put on there because they're all going to be competing with your system, trying to get uh, the resources so they can protect your system. It's going to slow things down. But while you were disinfecting, you may have discovered one of them found more than the other ones. And you might want to keep that one or if you, maybe you like the interface. But you want to keep one going so that it can periodically be updated like weekly with the new virus database so it's ready to go in case you get uh, infected again. And also the other ones you uninstall, save the install packages somewhere on your PC so you have them right there and available so you can reinstall and update them and go right away. And then that way you can you know, have the best chance of keeping your uh, PC clean of this Trojan software. So I'm Matt Pierce. Today we talked about how to remove the H key Trojan malware from your PC. Thank you very much for watching.